In today's video we're having a look at the iKerma DM262. This is a bilateral laser distance meter. It's for measuring between two points. It can also do heights and angles. I've lowered the lights so hopefully we can see the screen. On the unit we have the main power button and it's also the start button for when you're taking a measurement. On the left hand side we have rotate button so if you're using it sideways you can rotate the screen around so you can still see what the measurements are happily. It will also go the opposite way around as well. If we long hold this this is a nice feature that I do like as I have to wear glasses. It increases the size of the font. And then we take a measurement and it will give the overall measurement of both lasers added together. On the right hand side, we've got the menu button which takes us into our different options. And then up at the top left hand side at the moment, we're showing we're taking it from the front laser and the back laser. If we long hold the right hand side one, I've now changed it from the back of the unit just using the front laser. If we long hold it again, we now take it from the front of the unit using the front laser. On the left hand side and the right hand side we have plus and minus buttons, so if we've taken a measurement we can then add another measurement to that unit or take it away. On the plus button, if we long hold this, we can change to inches, feet, fractions of an inch, and back to meters. On the right hand side, we have a mute button if we hold it down. This now won't make any noises when you press the buttons. If we turn mute back off again, we now get the beeps again. Down at the bottom, we have an off button and also a clear button. This unit can store up to 100 measurements at a time. On the side, we have a charging port and luckily it's a USB-C, so that's very nice. And all the buttons have a nice rubber feel to them and the USB port has a nice little door on it as well. The unit itself isn't rated for wet weather work. If we now press the menu button to go through the different menus, the top left one is normal measurement mode. This is whether you're measuring both lasers from the back of the unit using the front laser or from the front of the unit using the front laser. We move between them using the plus and minus buttons. The next one across is continuous real-time measurement. This measures the distance showing you the maximum that it's been and the minimum that it's been. The next one across, the next one across is for area. This one's very handy if you want to find out what the area of your floor space is. If you're laying a carpet or a wooden floor, you can just take a measurement off of two walls and it'll tell you the area of the room. Next one across is volume. This one I've used a couple of times now for working out the volume of a water tank. You just put it inside the tank through the opening, take the measurement of the width, the length and the height and it tells you the volume of the water tank. The next one across is for measuring the height of an item. This one works well because you can put the base of the unit against the floor and hold it steady and you take the measurement at the bottom of the item that you want to measure and at the top of the item you want to measure and it works out the difference in length using the angle that it, the machine's at. This one I've found to be reasonably accurate. The next two which are double indirect height and non-vertical indirect height. Now these work by basically holding the unit steady taking a measurement of the bottom of whatever height you want and a measurement at the top and it also works for vert non-vertical items as well by taking three measurements. 
This one I don't find to be accurate unless you've got the unit fixed down on a tripod. But there's no tripod fitting on this unit, so I can't recommend those two items. I find the same problem on my Leica. Those two measurements only work if the unit is properly fixed down at a set place. Because if you're trying to do it handheld, the chance of error is too much for working out the heights of units. The next one across is your memory function. You can hold up to 100 measurements on memory function. If we go into this one now, we can see the different measurements that I've taken over time. I've taken 86 measurements during this last week of testing this machine. And in the bottom left hand corner, it shows you which measurement you're doing. It's very handy if you're doing a lot of measurements because you don't actually have to write them down. This machine will store them for you. If we go back into the menu system, the last one, which I haven't had to use because the degree marking is reasonably accurate, is for recalibrating the degrees. If we now take some measurements, we're in single measurement mode using the front and back lasers. If we hold the unit between two walls and we press the button, it now comes up with the measurement from the back of the unit to the back wall and from the back of the unit to the front wall and gives us the total measurement. This is very handy if you're measuring up a room, if you're an estate agent or measuring up for a floor because you don't actually have to take the unit all the way to the back wall. You can stand in the middle of the room and quickly get your measurements. I've found the accuracy of the unit to be within one millimeter most of the time, which is perfectly accurate for this type of tool. Over a distance of more than about three or four meters, you can't even hold a tape measure to that accuracy. With the unit, we get a nice wrist strap, which is rubberized. So you can put it around your wrist and you're not gonna drop the unit. We get a nice little carry bag which it fits in nicely with a belt holder on it as well. The manual, there's also a version of this manual online as well that you can download. The bits I really like about this laser measure is the front and back laser. This gives me the ability to just quickly measure up an area of floorage without having to go to the corner walls to get the measurement. I also really like the way that you can have a large font on it so that I can see the measurement without wearing my glasses. Overall, I can recommend this machine for the price. If you're doing a state agency where you need to take measurements of a house or if you're a carpet or floor fitter and you need to find out what the area of the room is and also for general DIY. I'll leave a link to the unit on Amazon for the American Amazon as well as the European Amazon and I do have some discount codes which I'll leave in the description below. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Have a good week.